Let's now go to another type. And this type, we're going to see it in exercise number two. So here, if you have it given to you like this, you have to expand the brackets first. So it will be x squared plus 7x plus 10. Now make your two brackets as long as we don't have a highest common factor for the three of them. So it's x and x plus and plus 5 and 2. So here the two brackets are x plus 5 and x plus 2. Question number 2. Yes, we have to expand the bracket first. So it's x squared minus 4x minus 3x plus 6. So it's x squared minus 7x plus 6. So in this case, we have to make the two brackets. x and x. Excellent, minus and minus. I'm looking for two numbers. Their product is 6 and their sum is 7. Yes, they are the 6 and the 1. Question 3. Multiply the two brackets first. So it's a squared minus 16b squared plus 6ab. To write them in the correct order, it's a squared plus 6ab minus 16b squared. So in here, I'm going to make the two brackets a and a plus and minus. I'm looking for two numbers. Their difference is 6 and multiplied by each other is 16. So they are the 8 and the 2. And don't forget to write the b. Question 4. Expand the x squared first, so it's x part 3 minus 23x squared plus 60x. We're going to take the x as the highest common factor, so every and each term will divide it by x. And then we're going now to factorize this x outside, keep it outside, and then we're going to factorize x and x minus plus, no, minus, minus, and then 20 times 3, their sum is 26. Now we're going to move to another type, which is choose the correct answer. If the expression x squared plus 7x plus a can be factored, then a can be what? As long as the last sign is positive so we're looking for the two numbers or two factors of this number their sum is seven yes excellent it is the ten because its factors are the five and the two for question two if the expression x squared minus three x plus c can be factored then c can be what as long as the last sign is plus, so I'm looking for a number, the sum of their factors is 3. So it is the 2. Question 3. Which of the following number can be added to the expression x squared minus 8x plus 5? So this will be factored. Again, the same idea. The last sign is plus. So I want this number to have factors their sum is 8, so it will be the 2, as here it will be the 7, 7 and 1, their sum is 8. Let's now move on to the evaluation part. Question 1, so in this case, here we have the two brackets, x and x. The first sign goes down as minus. Minus times positive is negative, and then we're looking for two numbers times each other is 18, and their difference is 7. So the 9 and the 2, and don't forget to write the y. Question 2, let's arrange it first. x squared minus 10x plus 
21, two brackets because there is no HCF, X and X, minus and minus, yes, I know that you guys know it very well, two numbers, their sum is 10 and their product is 21, they are the 7 and the 3. Question 3, we must arrange it first, so it's A squared plus 22A minus 75, X and X, we're looking for two numbers, their difference is 22 and their factors have a product of 75, so here we have the A and the A, yes, excellent, 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 it's 25 and here it's minus 3. In question 4, the highest common factor is the x, so we take this x outside the bracket as a common factor, so it's x squared minus 3x minus 28. So the x remains outside as it is, and we can easily factorize this part as x and x minus 7 and plus 4. By solving the evaluation part, we came to the end of our session. Thank you very much, dear students, and wishing you best of luck.